we're, we're doing these student diaries so that people can get a glimpse of what life is like for the conservative college student on a very liberal campus. We have a, a UCLA student, a John Jay College student, and um, a St. Louis University student. So all over the country, we'll be tuning into them um, throughout the semester to see what kind of experience they're having. And I think we actually have a, an introductory uh, a package to them. Hi, my name is Amy Lutz, and I'm a junior at St. Louis University. I'm currently majoring in history and hoping to get a certificate in political journalism. First of all, I'm a conservative because I believe in the principles of small government. Hi, my name is Lydia Mazurik, and I will be a senior at UCLA studying history and philosophy. I am a conservative because I agree with Barry Goldwater that conservatism maximizes freedom for the greatest number of people. Human beings are innovative in intelligence, and I think conservative principles unleash human potential. My name is John Cusick, and I'm a senior at John Jay College of Criminal Justice here in New York City. My major is Humanities and Justice Studies, which is an interdisciplinary major with literature, philosophy, English, and history. In addition, I'm double minoring in political science and English. You guys really make my head hurt. Right? You're like way too... Uh, smart. Lydia, you're, you, that was you um, from UCLA. Um, what do you hope to, uh, what, do you, what do you hope to gain, or that's the wrong word, what, what do you hope this does? Why are you doing this? Well, um, if you've never been to college or if you graduated 10, 20, 30 years ago, I think getting a first-hand story from someone who's actually living it is going to be invaluable to people like you who are trying to argue and say that campuses are biased, campuses are liberal. Um, and I think the student diaries are going to be able to show you how and give you concrete examples. So okay. I'm looking forward to um, uh, Let me go to uh, uh, Dinesh. Um, you um, are at King's College here in uh, New York City, which is not UCLA. Um, tell me the difference. Well, the first difference is that on campuses like UCLA, the whole uh, emphasis uh, is on the mind, but there's no emphasis on ethics, on morality, on spirituality. So the whole sort of other side of the human being is completely not only neglected, I would say derided. So that if you are in any explicitly, an explicit way uh, of practicing Jew or Christian, uh, you're seen as not just wrong, but somehow rude. You're offending the entrenched orthodoxies on the campus. Okay. Um, uh, you know, this goes back to how we fix our uh, banking system. It's ethics. I'm a good friend of John Huntsman Sr., um, the dad of the guy who's running, he's, uh, I, I, I don't know the candidate, I do know the father very, very well. Um, and he built uh, the John Huntsman uh, or Huntsman Hall or Huntsman School of Business at Wharton. And uh, one of the reasons why I did it is because business needs ethics taught. And he said, I'll tell you what, I'll build this for you, but you have to teach ethics. Because people are having, and maybe you can, you can uh, talk about this a little bit, people are now having a hard time in business schools. They'll say, okay, so here's the scenario. Is this right or wrong? And the students will say, well, I don't know. Did they lose money or make money? <laughs> there, there's more to it than that. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the weird thing is that universities use the language of relativism, but they're not really relativistic. Their, their relativism is a tactical weapon to attack traditional morality. Mm -hmm. They actually have their own absolute absolutes. Capitalism is bad. America has a terrible influence in the world. They have, they're absolutely convinced of that. So they use relativism uh, strategically, you might say. Mm -hmm. uh, and young people need to kind of decode all this because... You know, years ago when I was a student, Glenn uh, Buckley came to speak at Dartmouth, and he raised an interesting question that has been with me ever since. He said, how can you be a conservative in a liberal society? If you're on a liberal campus, normally what a conservative does is you conserve. You, you hang on to something. You preserve the past. But if you conserve on a liberal campus, you're going to conserve liberalism. Mm. So Buckley's point was you kind of have to change tactics. You, have, you can be philosophically conservative, 
but temperamentally, strategically, you've got to become a rebel, a kind of guerrilla, mm -hmm. uh, and, and upset this apple cart, uh, challenge these assumptions at the root level. Who, who, uh, who got hit with the ice ball in the head? Why did you get hit with the ice ball? And where? Uh, I was putting up my Stony Brook Tea Party flyers, and um, all I remember was I'm looking down, all of a sudden I get hit. I don't know who did it. They must have been afar, and I was like in like a fighting pose, waiting, you know, like, waiting for the next attack. How do you know that that was because of what you stand for? I mean, how come it wasn't just somebody who just threw an ice ball at you? Well, I, I kind of had a feeling because um, because nobody just does it to a total stranger just for fun on a college campus, unless if they have a good reason. And somebody's holding flyers and they're putting up a tea party flyer gives them good reason to. Uh, Tiffany, do we happen to have the definition from that um, uh, Urban Dictionary? Do we happen to have the t definition of Tea Party? We'll get it for you momentarily. Tell me, who can tell me what the Urban Dictionary is? Hmm. Yes. Urban Dictionary is a website, but it takes slang and other terms and they define them. Okay, six million people, six million people, it's geared right towards you. Six million people are using it. Um, uh, I believe Time said this was uh, you, you, you know what it is. I believe Time was saying that uh, this is one of the most influential websites. Let me show you how Urban Dictionary um, now defines Tea Party, mm -hmm. a disillusioned group of U.S. <laughs> citizens that blindly oppose whatever legislative and or government policy they perceived as being leftist, but also said legislation policy is actually in their own best interest. This is when, when, when Barack Obama says, and he says it about Israel, they just don't even know. They just don't know what's best for them. George Soros said that they just don't even know what's best for them. Um, the arrogance there that they are right and they know. Let me show you the next definition of Tea Party. Unknowing puppets of a capitalist corporation and their congressional silent partners mm -hmm. used to derail any progressive movement in the U.S. government and or society. And there is a third definition, and here it is. A group of conservatives who attend a rally to teabag each other, conservatives who are usually old, fat, white guys who are closeted homosexuals. They often carry signs at the rallies about things that they do not understand, like socialism, taxation, and health care. You have people reading that, uh, you'll get an ice ball to the, uh, to the head quite, uh, uh, quite easily. Um, so, Essie, sure. I see the, the diaries more than just educating somebody like me on how bad yeah. it is. Um, what else is the Yeah, the I mean, the, the point is, I can't be everywhere. You can't be everywhere. I would like to go to every college campus and get everyone's story. And believe me, I'm emailed hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. But this is a way for all of us to follow three students. Now, if you're a student at another college, we also have an outlet for you to upload your videos at The right. Blaze. I mean, we right. want to be your one-stop media shop. Your right. publicists right. for all of your stories that are happening. So let me on go to campuses. let me go to Will Kane here. Who Will is um, at the uh, Blaze newsroom now um, on the other side of Manhattan um, because getting a cab at this hour is impossible. <laughs> um, Will, tell me about what is um, uh, what we're putting up on the Blaze page. First, Glenn, to answer a question yours from an hour and a half ago, I am your old school employee with <laughs> I know. handwritten notes. Uh, but The Blaze is much more high-tech than I am, uh, Glenn. So yeah. coming soon, the new campus section of theblaze.com will do, as Essie just said, while there will be video diaries from students like Lydia, it will also be yours, young college conservative journalist. It's where you can upload your own video diaries or your own stories and videos from your campus. And on top of that, you know, if you have that professor, professor who goes on and on about John Maynard Keynes and his economic theories but can't find the time to balance it with a little Frederick Hayek, well, this will be the place for your editorial, your opinion, your opinion pieces. On top of that, we'll have the best of uh, conservative columns and new, uh, articles from newspapers across the country. And in the next year, I, I want to add this one to it, Glenn. The Blaze will be coming possibly to campuses near you. We'll be doing boot camps where we'll go talk to young, conservative, libertarian, free market, aspiring journalists, and we'll do boot camp training sessions to help them learn how to be the best they can be. Great. When does this start? The campus section should be up, what, SE, just in, uh, I think, within the next day or two. Yeah, soon. Right. Okay, now. good. Um, I, I, I want you to know that um, I am... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm tired of hiring people who don't get it. Um, we don't. 
we that's why we everybody on my staff as se will tell you is beat tired um, because we'd rather do it ourselves than have somebody else come in who just doesn't get it. And trying to find journalists um, that have gone through the system, they're so jaded and they're so spun around and they just, they don't get it. Um, we are going to, I, I'm, I'm going to start uh, hiring and, and, and plucking from the tree. I'm not going to the barrel anymore. Um, this is a place for you to not only have your voice heard, but also uh, make a name for yourself. As a, uh, as a student journalist, and you'll find it soon on theblaze.com. Okay, any questions before, yes, who, who has a question? All right, we're gonna go back for a break here and uh, we'll be back in just a second.